So Sam, first of all, how does it feel to have signed a four-year contract? Uh, I'm delighted, to be honest. Uh, it's always working to the next contract, and to get a four-year deal is brilliant, so hopefully I'll be here a lot longer at the club now. You only signed your first pro contract in the summer, so you must have done something right to get another one so quickly. Uh, yeah, I'd like to think so. Obviously, I've started two games this season, uh, so that, that's been a brilliant start for me, and hopefully you can kick on from there as well. Some people will know, and not everybody will, that you're a lifelong Albion fan. How does it? What does it mean to you to have been in the position that you're in now? It means a lot. I've been at this club since I was eight, so to see players when I was ball boy and, and watch them on the pitch and then being in that uh, situation myself is, is unbelievable. Hopefully it can continue. I used to sit in the Millennium Corner, just try and sneak in in my uh, West Brom tracksuit and watch the games. I know a lot of the academy lads are ball boys and you've obviously done your fair stint of that with your free ticket to watch the game. but. When you were sat back there watching the games then, you couldn't possibly have dreamed that this was no, where you'd end up. No, I could never imagine I'd get this far and to be honest, it's still I still have to pinch myself now and then that I've got here, but obviously there's still a long way I want I want to go and what I want to achieve in my career. So You've obviously been brought up the right way by your dad. He... Uh, yeah, yeah, my dad's a big fan as well, so he's uh, he's taught me well. And what what's your earliest memory of being an Albion fan? Uh, my earliest memory was um it was here we beat, I think it was beat Arsenal 2 1. Darren Carter scored a volley. Unbelievable goal. I remember that game quite clearly. So, who was your hero when you were a kid supporting the Albion? Support for the Albion? Uh, good question. I really liked Zoltan Gira personally. I just thought he was brilliant for the club. Um, scoring goals, passing, he was brilliant. And I've always, on the season reviews, I always used to watch. He was always one of the best players. What's it like to play alongside Darren Fletcher? Do you have to pinch yourself that the former Manchester United Man Champions League winners lining up against uh, alongside you in midfield? Uh, yeah, definitely. He's a massive role model. What he's done in the game is unbelievable. If I could have half his career, I'd be over the moon. So to have him there alongside me is just great experience. Mm. He obviously won his first FA Cup the year that you started primary school. Yeah. yeah. Is it a bit weird the age difference? Uh, it is, but when you're on the pitch, you don't think about it. You're just another, you know, he's just another player and. I like to think that we work well together and we'll play many more games together. Do you obviously look to take stuff from other players and, and what do you take from playing alongside him? Uh, I just take his calmness in pressure situations. He's always relaxed. He won't you know, be rushed on the ball. He always plays his way, which I think is brilliant. We touched on before that your, your dad was a, he's a big West Bromwich Albion fan. How has he reacted to your, to your profile rising and then the new contract? Uh, I'd like to think he's very proud. We, we speak about it now and then, but when I'm home, my mind isn't on, uh, is off football, thinking about other stuff, but uh, I'd like to think he's very proud of me. You've obviously been here a long time as well. You joined in 2006 at the age of eight. What sort of family club is it for you? It's a massive family club. I've known the boys here since, like you say, since I was eight, so to be with them still now at 18 is, is unbelievable. We really are like brothers. Um, so there's a great feeling around this club, especially at, at this stage and where I am at the minute. Tony Pulis has obviously given you a massive opportunity. How have you taken to him? I think he's done really, I'd like to thank him a lot really because he's obviously chucked me in there and I can't thank him enough because without him I still might be playing 23s. I don't know what I might be doing, but hopefully I can, he can keep chucking me in again further in the season. How brave a decision is it for him, do you think, to, to throw in a young lad? I think it's very brave in this day and age. Prem's the best it's ever been. So. To put faith in me is a lot of courage, so I'd like to thank him for that. You obviously have friends that are Albion fans as yeah. well. How have they, how have they reacted to you playing in the Premier League for them? Um, they've been very excited. They're you know, really happy for me and always asking me about it, which is brilliant. Um, I don't think they think I'd get this far. Not that they didn't believe in me, that just it's really hard to do. So I think for them to see me in that position as well is, is brilliant for them. What do you say to the eight-year-old lad now who's just signing for the academy? Uh, well done, first of all, and uh, just keep it up. Obviously, I've made two appearances so far this season, and I'll make it a lot more, and then hopefully next season, and hopefully many more seasons after that, just keep performing. Do you think that you put more expectation on yourself as a, as a fan who's, who's playing for their club? Yeah, definitely, because it, it means, not that it doesn't mean a lot to them, but it means a hell of a lot to me because, you know, I've supported this club, I, I want the best for this club, so every time I step out on the pitch, I always try and do my best. What do you hope to achieve in your career? Just play as many games as possible. Hopefully it's here, um, if not somewhere else, but just as many games as possible and hopefully my career is long and, uh, long and good, basically.